Hi, this is John Birmingham, and I am an artist. Here's a couple of my works of art from when I was a teenager in high school and college. And my friend Al, who was a part of the 1980s New York City art scene, is going to tell you all about it in a video. How desperately do we need to be loved and to love? Love's intent is something we all must have. Our spirits, our souls feds upon it. Without love's intent, we become weak and faint, no longer able to look with courage and confidence at our world. With love's intent, we are creative and evolutionary. With love's intent, we must tirelessly we march tirelessly with the good thoughts in our hearts, minds, and speaking good words that lead to ethical actions within our lives. With loves and love alone, we are able to sacrifice for others, to, play, to pay forward love's good intent so we may manifest a better and better world for ourselves and our families and our neighbors and that is what art is and this lady here is Inga Solanovich and she was an artist in the first person she didn't need to be famous she didn't need to be self-aggrandizing and that is what art can be and I was in the modern art world from <laughs> 1960 oh, yeah. to 1990 and I still am, but I'm not as, as in there as before. And uh, the uh, writer, director, producer of this video, John Birmingham, yeah. uh, kind of uh, videotaped some uh, photographs. I'm a photographer and I photographed pretty much a good deal of the art world uh, between 1960 and 1990 in New York City. And then other places where I was. But the whole thing that I had observed, there were people who did art for art's sake because they had to. That's what I did. My art, and I still do, I do my art because I have to do it. Nothing stops me. I don't, you know, get upset one way or the other about it. I just do the art pieces I do. And my whole life, see, what most people don't realize is that my life is an art piece. I was a performance artist um, in the 70s. And in the 60s, I was in the Living Theater and the Herbert Berghoff um, Theater Company and Manhattan Theater Company. So I was an actor also. And, um, but all of those things I did because I had to do them, not because I wanted to be rich and famous or get noticed in um, the supermarket. No, I did it because I needed to do it. This lady here, she lived her life that way. From a little girl all the way to the day she died, her life was her art. Now, I work for people like Klaus Oldenburg and... Uh, what about the people in their, uh, in their family, the people? The people in their family were parts... And Inga, her, uh, her whole family, her whole... Everyone she touched was part of her art. Whereas people like Dolly and Klaus Oldenburg um, and, and people of that ilk, it was always about them. Look at me! Look at me! And they would use anything and any person to forward their uh, self-aggrandizement. And now our whole culture has been brought into that plane of materialism of the self. The mm -hmm. thing of the self. Mm -hmm. We look at our political, our social, our spiritual worlds that surround us. We have mega churches on TV, and the guy is a star. You know, on our politicians are TV actors. You know, uh, look at uh, our president. He was a, uh, you know, um, an actor uh, on a reality show, and now he's playing a. Uh, Re, you know, live. You know, doing a what, reality show. What about Dolly Salvador? Dali? Salvador Dolly was. Did uh, you meet him? Of was course, I worked for him. Was it Salvatore or Salvador? Uh, who knew? Salvatore. I just call Salvador. him. I just call everyone. Call him Dolly. Dolly. 
And his wife was Dala, was, Dala. And he was in the New York art scene? New York art scene from like uh, the 20s or 30s on. and Even the 70s and 80s. Oh, until the day he died, I think, in the 90s. I mean, I left in 88. I don't know if he was still alive, but his you whole... you met him in your work form or something? Yeah, yeah. I was his action man, meaning I was in the art scene. I was doing, you know, my art was performance art, so I was building nightclubs and restaurants, and that was part of my art, you know? And what was one of his, what was an outstanding thing that happened or something you remember working for him when you saw him in person? Well, he had shows. He had his big um, um, gallery uh, down in um, uh, Florida in, um, oh, where is that, uh, above Orlando, Starts with a T. Tampa. Tampa. Tampa, Florida has his museum there, and that was his uh, where he ran away in the winters, and uh, but he stayed in a uh, I think the St. Regis Hotel in New York was his and in the twenties or thirties when he was trying to make a name for himself he was drunk in their bar and he pushed a piano out the window, right and everyone got all upset and he called it an art piece. You know, and so he he was there, and his art that he did, um, he bent time and space and reality, and which was brilliant, and and he was making a statement. But so did other, you know, Bruegel and and guys in the uh, Dark Ages did, did art did like Dolly that. Did Dali have a rich family, a father and mother? Well, not rich, but he never really had to worry that much about money. Um, but Did I don't he get very rich. Oh, he was pretty rich, but again, he wasn't worrying about money. He was always, you know, had um, um, cachet, and cachet meant everyone knew who he was. So they would buy him a drink, they buy him uh, his dinner, they pay for his hotel room because everybody wanted to hang out with Dolly, and that was his business plan. It was all about, you know, uh, people wanting to be next to him, getting their picture taken with him. Um, and, you know, when I worked for him, I found younger artists who adored him, loved his style, copied his style, to the point that when I brought them to meet Dolly, he could say, oh, yes, I like that. I will hire you. You know, I will pay you a weekly salary. I'll put you up in a hotel here. You can have any girl you want. You can have drugs. You can do whatever you want. Just keep doing your art, and I will put my name on it. Because he no longer did the art. He had other people doing it. He, not, now, every artist has, and, and that was, you know, um, Andy Warhol's whole thing was he came from an advertising uh, scene, and he realized that it was all manufacturing. So where he made his art, down there on Union Square, near 16th Street, off the park, um, he called it the factory, because he was turning out art like it was you know, and what was his art? But he was doing images of soup cans and taking, uh, you know, uh, movie stars and famous people and turning them into a product. And that was his statement. Art is no longer expression of the artist in the first person, of the indigenous spirit, where you co-create with God. No, this is a product, and you're going to buy it, and I'm going to become rich and famous. And that's what art became in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah, and rich for the sake of rich never right. actually interested me personally at all. Right. Or the, there's people that make that their main thing. Rich. I'm rich. Right. I'm big. Exactly. I'm rich. And that was Andy Warhol. That was know, Andy Warhol. There's nothing wrong with that. They no, just think that's cool no, and that's no, what no, they want to no, do. No, 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 that was, you know, that was his statement. That was cool. Um, and there, uh, you know, Banksy is a guy who does that. Uh, Keith Herring did it. But both those guys have an aesthetic of their own, not just, hey, look at this, it's a product, it's a, no, but they realize uh, fame and, and that is uh, branding your art. And so it's gotten into branding your art and not the expression. So like in the 70s and 80s, there was a whole school of uh, artists, people like Judy Rifka, um, Alan Sarrett, um, uh, John Bowman, um, um, Marilyn Minter, um, a whole group like that, who were really good school artists, who really did amazing art, 
and they're, they're in your pictures, and we're going to see them. Right, right, right. When you edit them into this, yes, they were in there, and and they were doing. They had a foot in both things of, of being famous and doing art because they had to. I mean, every time I went to to go yeah. visit them in their lofts or we'd go out, you know, they were doing everything they did was art. The what they wore, how they looked, how they moved about, and why they liked me is that. My whole life was art, and I never, you know, there was no line because, okay, this is my life and this is uh, art. No, it was like all, all across the board. And the 70s um, and 80s were very exciting because that's what that was. Everybody was the artist in the first person. And then uh, in the 80s, art became your career and the commodity. And the person who brought, who kind of, hey, look at this, was Andy Warhol. He was the guy who said, look at... And he was nice, you said. He was a nice guy. He was never mean. I mean, he was soft... He didn't focus on sex. No, he was soft-spoken. He had his uh, paramours, but he didn't, you know, wear it on his uh, sleeve, you know? He wasn't, you know, uh, in the um, tabloids, you know? I mean, he would... He was at every party. He was at everything, but he was like wallpaper. He would uh, blend into the background. You know, he was there, but he wasn't, uh, uh, and he always wore the same kind of clothes and the same hairdo, and um, once he got shot. He got shot? Yeah, he got shot. And killed? No, no. It was in, oh, I don't know, 70s or 80s. What happened to him? Well, um, some woman who had been part, because his factory, he let at me. I walked in that place. or something? It was his art studio, and he called it the factory. Oh, okay. And he... uh, Anybody could go in there and do anything they wanted to, and if he thought it was, you know, sellable, he would, uh, you know, uh, put it on the marketplace and give you your cut. But he allowed it was like a playground. It was gigantic loft, had all these resources and, and materials. You could do whatever the heck you wanted to, film, uh, paint, he could hang whatever. out there. He could hang out there. He had food. And he'd be there sometimes. Yeah, well, he lived there kind of, and yes, he was there all the time until he was shot. This woman came in, hung out there, had, you know, she was a little nuts, and she thought, oh, Andy's my lover. And then when he was like, yeah, whatever, you know, he turned around, and she pulled out a gun and shot him. Really? In the back? Well, on the side. Oh, man. It kind of got in his gallbladder, and he had to be operated on, and, and, you know, he was a little sick. And then he was okay. He came back. But he was never quite the same. Hi, America. Your Al Founder here. These are pictures of the art world of yeah. um, New York City. There's you. It, there's me. Yeah. Yep. And here's Andy McCann, who is okay. a, a pretty famous uh, studio musician. How do you spell his name? McCann? Eh, like the shoes. Oh. And these are all pictures of art galleries I owned, nightclubs I had. That guy looks like uh, Which the guy? guy from American Movie. Maybe. Well, this is 1980. Four, so oh. I don't know if it's a little too. Uh, yeah, right. There's Steve-O's father. <laughs> no, it looks. He looks like it. It might be his father. Oh, uh, I don't know. Steve-O, you know that the jackass guy. Right. I don't know. The that jackass? that was Paul Felix Montez. Huh? He was a playwright. Oh, Montez. Yes. Paul Felix Montez. That's that's who that. Guy okay, I'll was. Google it and see if that's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Uh, is that some That's other guy? That's my bro. That's my brother. Your real brother? My real brother, yep. Whoa, cool. Yep. Back in the day. Cool. Yep, yep. He's still alive now? Yep, yep, yep. Cool. And yeah, here is uh, some paintings. He's not that old. <laughs> yeah, he's in the 70s. Oh, oh, he's older, okay. Yep, in my, one of my art oh. galleries. Oh. This is Jane oh. Fire. Oh, oh great. And she's a uh, little sweetie. Looks like the lead singer of. Uh, she was. She had a band called uh, Jane Fire Band. Oh, it looks like a uh, 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 rally around the family with a pocket full of shells. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but she's nice. You knew yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. And here is ABC No Rio, which was part of a collective that we put together called. Um, Let's see, collaborative artist projects. It's one of the yeah. first uh, artist groups okay. that that got 
grant money. Here's our TV show, Potato Wolf. Um, in New York City. In New York City. Yep. Wow. Okay. Leslie. Here's a picture of the World Trade Center. I worked on that as an apprentice electrician. And this was cool. this was before the marina was built, and there was this big half a mile, all the dirt they took out of the yeah. of the for the basement of the World Trade Center. They made a landfill, and now it's the marina. Oh, 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 oh. And we used to do art on it. Uh, Lucy okay. Lepard of Printed Matter and I and a bunch of other people did a thing called Art on the Beach, and that was the beach. Okay. And this is a this an was a bart or an actor, right? And in, that was all buff and looked like a, right, an A-list actor, right. except he was just, he had to be a bartender to pay his bills. Right, right. This was a nightclub. We used to have these um, what I call um, zombie that's, nightclubs. That's you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's some big random old, old house. Old house. Oh. Yes, I used to flip houses. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. Marilyn Minter, Judy Rifka. The, they're famous. I googled them. Yep, yep. Marilyn Mi Minter. Minter. M I N T E R. Right. And that's Judy, Judy Rifka. Rifka. R I F K A. Right. And here and is. They still look attractive now, and that was in the the eighties. Eighties. Yeah. yeah. And this is one of my um, off the hook uh, nightclubs, <laughs> and yeah. my buddy. You know, she yeah. wasn't frightening to me. Uh, okay. It's, uh, I don't want to say you know she she could be anything. She could be a nice human being. She is a nice human. Yeah. Being. So I'm not going to say one thing or another. Right, she, right. She's, she's a nice. She's, but they both, you know. They were powerful okay. women in yeah, the art yeah. world of the '80s and still today. Okay. So I'm not going to comment one way or another. She right. could be well, really nice. She you you be, you can uh, comment you because don't, you don't, don't you don't know them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You but you, know. but, but I did, pictures. and they were my buds. You know. Okay. They would have art in my art gallery. They had an art gallery called the Sixth Sense Art Gallery. Here's Jody Entermont, <laughs> one of my oldest friends, and there's a piece of the sculpture. These are all art happenings, openings, wow. because uh, Colab would um, take uh, abandoned buildings and co we, we, we had deals with uh, companies like Blimpies and Subway, oh. where we would demo out whatever they were going to okay. turn into their restaurant, we'd make it clean and white, we'd have an art show in it for a month or two, and the money that they would pay some contracting company that paid us, and we got the free space. Okay. And they got to take it off. Who are these people? Who's that guy? Well, um, this is like the... Julius. I forget his last name, but he was uh, a girlfriend of mine's um, mentor. Okay. She was an. Uh, he, Great. Ta he taught at NYU, and um, I forget his name. Okay. And here is some Keith Herring um, lookalike art. Yeah. Keith Herring. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's some. Uh, I'll show that one. YouTube, something yep. on the private part so nobody can see it. Yep. These are all, and we would just constantly have art happenings. Okay. Just constantly. Wow. We were just constantly, because we were all artists and we had to do our yeah. art. Nothing and you could, bought this house that's a work of art. Right. That's why I bought it, because I was an artist. I actually bought this house from Al and I painted the floors in the style of um, the original artist who built this house who was a brilliant artist and I kind of went with something that would kind of go with his style of art so it's really original and unique and Al bought it years ago and I just bought it from him and it has this kind of art and he like just in this corner there's tons of this all over the house it has a face right there and then that's you know custom a lot of it is made out of um cement and uh all types of uh stuff so this this is a work of art this house that i live in and um i'm gonna tell you about well al's gonna and al's gonna tell you right now so uh that's it And this was Benny, and um, how you doing, there? Yeah, and he had his own little uh, 
scene going on, so he was too busy doing his little scene rather than <laughs> than being the super. So I he brought me up to this loft on Worcester Street uh -oh. and said, yeah. here, you can have this loft, just clean up the hallways. And so uh -oh. for four years, I had a beautiful loft in Soho. Here's the building right here. This is Worcester Street. Oh, gosh. It was between Green and uh, Spring. Oh, okay, okay. I actually bought this house from Al, and I painted the floors in the style of um, the original artist who built this house, who was a brilliant artist, and um, it's really original and unique. And Al bought it years ago, and I just bought it from him, and it has this kind of art in here, like just in this corner, there's tons of this all over the house. It has a face right there. So this, this is a work of art, this house that I live in. There's Anna Jemsen. She was a pretty interesting person from okay. Sweden and Denmark. Yeah. Here's Kathy. She's, she was pretty happening in her time. There's you next door. Yeah, we were buds. And here's Hallie. Guess how old uh, Hallie is in that picture? 50s. 75. Oh my God. She was born when Hallie's Comet was discovered, and that's why she was named Whoa. Hallie. Her father was a. a um, I thought she astronomer. was a very attractive 50s. No, she's a very attractive 70s. Hey, that's pretty cool. I guess yeah, you can yeah. still look good when you get older. Yeah, yeah. Here's our TV show. <laughs> Potato Wolf. Who's that? Did you go out with her? No, no. This was uh, Mitch Corbin, and I forget. Uh, they, we were the first people to do celebrity. We made these guys into celebrities. Okay. I mean, they were the most common of folk, and we just did a TV show about their oh, life. Oh, yeah, yeah. We followed them everywhere. We talked yeah. about their socks, you know, and then this yeah. was them getting married live on TV. Okay. So we, before uh, the Kardashians, it was Mitch Korber. Who, who was she? Mitch? A famous person? No, we made them famous. I oh, mean, that was what mm. the thing was about. That was what our TV oh, oh, oh. shows were about, was about mm. making yeah. fun of celebrity. Yeah. Okay. And we had all kinds of shows. Who's that? Which, here? Mm. That mm. was... Uh, Who's uh, that guy? That's not Alan. Here's, where's Alan? Okay. There are a couple of the guys who did our show. George um, was, um, became a Nightline Who's producer. that guy? Mitch he, Korber. Again, the most common guy you could think of, and we made him a celebrity. Okay. You know, before, this is 1984. Wow. Did you act in them? Uh, I no, I wrote them and produced them and directed them. Oh, cool. Them. But sometimes cool. I acted in them. Wow, that's amazing. But we were oh, collective. Okay. We all worked as a group. I mean, sometimes I acted, yeah. sometimes I put them together, sometimes you know, I, was a, I was a good cameraman, so. Yeah. Any super famouses? Yeah, Judy Rivka, um, oh. you know, um, uh, Keith Herring. Um, I don't know where the- But like a yeah. Keith Richards. Oh, uh, yeah, there, yes, there is. There's uh, John Bowman, he's pretty famous. He's a good okay. bud. Who's that? Just a guy that was there? Or no, somebody, he, somebody... he was a guy who managed a nightclub I built. It was oh, called oh. Kamikaze. Okay. Uh, wow. This was a show we, we did constantly down in um, oh, Coney Island. Cool. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. What is it? Uh. That's the Coney Island show. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And here's uh, a TV show we had. This is 1984. Oh, and we had a show called uh, Between the Lines, White Collar Criminals. And okay. this was the Universal Product Code. And okay. we were talking about the near future where everyone would have that on their foreheads meaning no more money yeah. no more credit cards and okay. i you know i used to date this woman i live with her i can't for the life of me remember her name it's like killing me but she was an amazing she was a stand-up comedian 
and she was great. So she acted cool. as the Barbara Walwars. That must have of been the time. fun. It was. It was way fun. Who's that one? Um, that's Judy Rifka again. Oh, really? Yep, yep. Okay. Maybe she's nice. Judy is nice. <laughs> Maybe she is. Okay. I have no idea. I just saw one. Maybe I just saw a funny picture of her or something. Or I don't know. So the carnival, I had worked yeah. in the carnival many times. And the carnival is very important because it is from the days in Samaria. It was the place where the, the people had access to power of myth. Yeah. And all the way, even through our culture, the circus and the carnivals, the carnivals oh, yeah. brought materialism. After the Civil War, yeah. um, Rockefeller and uh, Morgan paid for the Wild West shows to go through, and Mr. Sears would have his catalog there. And it was like, you know, their form of the internet. Okay. So there I am. No. Yeah. This was a show we did. Um, uh, a oh, tape. my God. Yeah, you like that, eh? You did that on a show? Yeah, yeah. That was, we were getting dressed up, and we were, we would take, I would take. Yeah, it looks like Captain Spaulding copied it. Yeah. I mean, not, but Rob yeah. Zombie. Yeah, yeah. Because he was in New York, I think, in the 80s. Right. He Rob took our Zombie. ideas. And, and he, what he, this... Not really. He Maybe he was so influenced by it that he, 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 uh, he, 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 he put he it in put, his own mind. Put Captain Spaulding's makeup right, together right. and, uh, and based here's, on here's this. More, here, see more closer pictures of it. And, oh, okay. And what this was, was we took um, Homer's Iliad. Where? No, oh. that, that's what we were making oh, ourselves okay, up okay. as the characters yeah. in the Iliad. Yeah, no, no, no. And we put it after a nuclear war. Yeah. And we were all, you know, uh, mutants. Oh, there's the Captain Spawning looking one. Yep, that's me. <laughs> you didn't say, like, were you a bad guy? No, no, we were all mutants. Oh. I was one of the leader mutants. Oh, my God. And me. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody said it's a dance or something. This. Oh, so this is well, my. It looked like. So this here oh. is is the living okay. theater. Okay. Julian wow, cool. Beck and Judith Molina's living theater. Wow, that's amazing. And they were part of our crew. That is amazing. We were part of their crew, along with HB Studios, Herbert Berghoff, and Uta Hagen. And we used to do this in the street. We would you just did? put it up. Put wow, it up, must have been the know. most fun ever. It was. I mean, we never <laughs> we never asked for permission. And he'd be in his ha giant hands. Yeah, yeah. We were doing uh, the bread and puppet was oh, was man, part geez. of this. Whoa. And yeah. here's one. Well, of I guess it's like I did feature films instead. Right. And yeah. me, I was just we were doing this stuff. Did the this. art scene, whatever it was. And we had no money. We got everything out of the garbage, yeah. and then we started writing grants, and uh -oh. we started. But these yeah, were, and and this was the kitchen on, okay. um, in Soho. Okay. Uh, Bruce and Beth B's kitchen. And this is my art. What are you filming me for? Yeah, right. <laughs> what is that? Uh, but we would making... have these, these salons oh, there. <laughs> and we would, we would have He's the watching. video straight what are we onto Manhattan now? Cable. Like on... And that was the YouTube of the time, Manhattan Cable. You believe that? Yep. He's filming me. What are you doing that for? Yeah, you were doing that I, for. <laughs> he tried to yep. act like yep. me yep. or yep. something. <laughs> yep. So here's my art, which was my photos oh. with my writing. And I would cover buildings with it. Okay. You know, I would Xerox off hundreds of them. Yeah. And then just take wheat paste and put it all over. Wow. Because at that time, bands were wheat pasting oh, okay. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? A oh, lady? she's a friend of mine. Girl, my whatever. my friend Bert's wife from oh, Bert. Sweden. Her? Her. Okay. I forget her name, but that's Bert's wife from Sweden. Yeah. And here's some of my photos. Whoa. I'm very good at... Uh, Hey, cool! You got the old guys. Yep, yep. I had I had a big line of old guys. Cool. Because I used to be a hobo, and these were all hobo guys. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, they look that were kind of. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. 
that's that guy that you made yeah, famous? Yeah, Mitch Corbin, yep, yeah. and his Who, wife. That's his wife? Yeah. Oh, cool. And, um... Uh, Boy George. No, no, close, though. <laughs> Before Boy George, it was her. Oh, uh, Margaret Bazura. Oh, yeah, obviously a woman. I can tell yes. by the body and, and stuff. And she was... Brilliant, but insane. yeah, she looks pretty. She looks okay. Yeah, really okay. I mean, I uh, wish I could freaking remember her name. No, it's not good that you can't remember. And there's, um, yeah, okay. Oh, what's his name? Willoughby Sharp. Willoughby, he always wore Brooks Brothers clothes while we were all being hippie guys. This guy, no, the guy in the Brooks Brothers suit. Oh. <gasps> He was always, that was his look. Okay, that's just how he was? Yes, he always wore, you know, he went to prep school. He he was... Was he a rich kid? Yeah. No? yeah oh, okay. But in that picture, he's probably 40-something. Whoa. He was the oldest of all of us. And I was uh, not pretty close to his age. Did people time. look younger for their age back then? Did um, yeah, maybe. I, I started thinking people started looking younger now, but... No. From the looks of these Willie people... Willie Loman... Oh, Here's our here's white columns. Oh, that was Willie Loam in this all. Yes, some of that. Yeah, here's white columns. Okay. Let's see. That's a spinoff from cool. the Whitney. That's across from the ear yeah. in. So we used to do this all the time. We'd have happenings. Wow. Art, art thing. We just, you know, break out in the street and do art. Yeah. You know, make films, do singing, and hang out with all those people. poetry. Is that Santana? I don't know who it was. No, wait. Is no. that Santana? No, 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 no. No, is that uh the Jackal? No, no. Wait, no, it's, uh, that's somebody else. No, okay. he's a he's a Hispanic poet. He's oh, okay, okay. I forget his name. There's you. There's me. Here, I'm about forty in this picture. Oh, okay. My late thirties. Here's yeah. Here's our our my apartment in a burned out abandoned building oh uh, yeah no. <laughs> and uh, terrible this was 1980 and uh, oh, uh, and uh, what's his name but Just, i mean that you're a kid you're like young and everything that well, was my fun so, yeah, yeah here's yeah. my first wife donna okay. ann mcadams okay you could look her up on Who? youtube donna where ann is she right there that's her right there the, the younger yes or shorter no that's leslie wait, wait. That, they both look good, but I'm saying these were, girls. She okay, was born no. in Australia. She yeah. was born in Long Island. I'm not like a hitting on anyone. They were like no. That. They were born almost oh, okay. on the same. They were born on the same day, oh, okay. at the same time, right? But this was my wife. This girl here. Oh wow, Donna Ann. Yeah, Mac Adams. Huh. And here's Garrick Beck. And uh, David Boyle. Okay. Both okay. guys, I did many, many crazy things. Hey, there's a good picture. So this is a nightclub in Exposure an abandoned good. public school uh, cool. down in the Lower East Side. Okay. That's a good shot. Right. And I lit this. I wired it. I did. Wow. You know, we just broke into it, and we would have. Party oh, no, all yeah. night long. Okay. And art. Okay. Everyone would be performing yeah. and doing art and making okay. art. Okay. Anyway. More of the same. I don't. Uh... Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. But now it's almost impossible to get people to do I anything. Don't, uh... You know, it's like. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was a gallery what? owner. What? What do you don't? Yep. <laughs> Sorry. You can laugh. I just gave him all New York accents. Yeah. It's New York. It's New York. It's New York. <laughs> yep. Uh, this guy's a pretty famous German actor. I don't know his name. Uh oh. This is Richie Heyman. Wait, wait. German actor? Yeah. Maybe Rob Zombie saw him was like, he's cool. Right. I want to look like him. And this is uh, Rich Heyman. He and I started oh. the Ear Inn yeah. in New York. Oh, 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 no. And the reason why the Ear Inn... Oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, that's Butch Morris. He's he's a pretty famous jazz musician. Cool. And there's oh, Paul man. Felix Montez again. 
This guy is pretty famous. Yeah. I forget who he is, what his name I was. I think I've seen him. Yeah, he's pretty famous. I've seen him somewhere. Yeah. Here's Kiki Smith. She's very uh, famous these days. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yep, she was my electrical helper. Okay, who's that? Oh, another woman I used to date. I can't remember oh. her name. It's, okay. it's really, it's not, it's not good. Oh. Not good. Let's oh, see. man. Oh, Sandro Donini. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that guy. Oh. He, he and a bunch of us started a thing called Plexus. This guy helped put together PS1. He did? Yeah. Oh. PS1, okay. Mm -hmm. We PS1. were we called ourselves the, the art slaves. Okay. That was here's a wall of my photos of. They all look, you know, they look fairly young and like attractive. Yeah, we were Not, all in our thirties. Yeah. Okay. We were all in our thirties. Is that a man or a woman? Oh, that's Melissa. She oh, was, Melissa, she, I'm sorry. She was a patron saint. Okay. I, of, it's of just housing it's on 13th okay. Street. She's either a very pretty woman or a right. young boy. There's Donna Ann McAdams again. My first wife, my training wife. She okay. was great. Great photographer. Okay, great. Great trooper. Oh, again, another sweetie that I forget her name, but she was a great poet. Yeah. Ellen Ginsberg really loved her. Let's see. Uh oh. There's somebody. Yeah. That's a guy. It is? Yes. Okay, I had a so nightclub. I had a nightclub. That's a guy. That's a guy. I had a nightclub that was for mercenaries. That's where that long thing's hanging right yes. there. Yes, had mercenaries, right? No, okay. And they all dressed up as women. Okay. Huh. And paint this over here. Uh, Van he was, Gogh. He was a uh, Van guy. Van Gogh. He was from uh, uh, <laughs> the NEA, National Endowment right. of the okay, Arts. Okay, okay. And I was showing him how why we uh. spent all the thousands and millions that they gave us over the years okay what did they think of like tr real trannies back then which oh, a lot of the society against them back no then? no everything went okay <laughs> there was i mean there was no like oh my god look at that it was just oh okay. that's what it was okay there was no that looks like a rob zombie something i don't know why i didn't even mention rob zombie do you think he was around there back then he could be uh, what? Hey, I'm just visiting from uh, Texas. What are you talking about, he's, zombie? He's a, uh, yes. I like zombie. Uh, he's a zombie. I listen to Rob Zombie. Rob is, uh, Rob is zombie. <laughs> Sorry. So here's me start, starting off th this, this portrait, this painting. And then I had wow. other people. Uh oh, okay. You know, I started it, then they went. Uh oh, there. you did the basics, and they did. They, well, I they, set out they, the, they, you know, the perspective, okay. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and they did the detail. Right, and here's us breaking into abandoned buildings. Here's oh. what the place that uh, yeah, see yeah. this. Yeah. See how this looks. Yeah. This was what this was. Uh, okay. A week, I moved in here. A week oh. later, it looked like this. Oh. Wow. Yeah. A little bit of sheetrock, a little bit of hung ceiling, some track lights, cool. painting the floor. That's but all you had a lot of people doing it. Yeah. Or, okay. Amazing. Yep. Yep. Working for free and stuff. Yeah. Well, we're having a great fun. This is out in the west. That he looks like a like a like a familiar face, but I don't know who. Yeah, those guys became um, Hollywood movie stars. I had a bunch of friends who. Do you know what their names nah, are? I can't remember. But they both. Even went, that guy. Yeah, they both went. You know, grade B. Hollywood movie stars, you know, TV shows, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I recognize him. Right. There are a whole bunch, because we used to do this TV thing. Mm -hmm. uh, who's the guy who's really famous? He um, he did the, mm -hmm. the HBO um, Boardwalk uh, Empire. I don't know. But that actor, he used to be on our TV shows, and he was a fireman. Something Cassini. I don't this, know. this guy's pretty famous TV guy. I think I recognize him. George something or other. He was part of the Living Theater too. Wow, cool. That's yep. amazing. <laughs> this, is, this is a Russian guy who is a alleged famous poet, and he just drank himself, and you know he pissed in his pants and left. He got two plates of food and just. 
Oh man, but he's a famous guy or yeah, something yeah. that's yep, successful, yep. and yep. he just happened to get drunk that yep, one yep. night. No yep, big yep. deal. Everyone. I think he got drunk every something. night. Oh, okay. Good. Here's a piece we did oh, about, um, um, huh. you know, yeah. you know, um, uh, yeah. masking or, or yeah. shutting up art. Oh. When, oh, oh. when uh, I didn't want to like make fun of people too much with stuff because I didn't want them to like get angry. Well, there's Donna again. Okay. Here's Donna again, my training wife. Who? Oh, Donna Ann McAdams. Oh, okay. And that was you. That was me. Well, it looks twenties or something. We were twenty-eight in that picture. Hey, huh, cool. We were both twenty. We just got back from Europe. Okay. I look like I'm 12. I don't know. Who's that little baby? Oh, that was uh, Bariah's son. Oh, okay. Running around in yeah, his afraid house. To show oh, it. there's Beth Lapidus. She's pretty right. famous. Okay. Okay. Whoa, wow. And she and I used to do what is known as performance art. Okay. So here's a, the abandoned floor shine shoe polish factory in Waynesburg, Brooklyn, and I took all of the fluorescent lights and hung them outside uh, around the top of the building. Yeah. So it looked like somebody took a Ferris wheel and uh, lighted on its side. Oh, uh, okay. And I trace the things around. Oh, okay. Wow. Yep. Cool. And this was the military. Mm -hmm. We did a show in the Brooklyn military terminal uh -oh. the terminal show it was seven uh -oh. million square feet mm -hmm. and we had a hundred thousand artists oh, okay. yeah. and here are the aborigines oh, dancing yeah. in front of the world trade center cool the aborigines yeah, of australia okay here's judy rifkin and me oh. we had stayed up all night and oh. walked around um the east side there's a walkway and this was just about okay. seven in the morning wow, we, we had been clubbing all night and she was a little tired <laughs> how often how long did you do that stuff for oh a good 20 years you did yeah but on and off i did other stuff oh, oh. too you know? oh, okay i was doing worked other things. and did stuff right right i traveled all around the world i lived in foreign countries okay here's dick well, mock he's pretty Oh. No, there's Mint, Mindy. Dick Mock. Yeah, he's Dick, well known. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's Mindy Minter. But not like Willie Naloman well known. No. No. <laughs> and there's. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. There's Kiki Smith again. Who's Kiki Smith? She's a well known artist. If you know. You, okay. You, yeah, yeah. Okay. Google her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, there's Marilyn again. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, he was right. Yossi. He, he was a, uh, a um, oh, Israeli, um, um, who's the guy's, their secret service? Mossad. He was a Mossad agent. He was? Yep. But is he, are you allowed to say that? Well, well he, he quit. Oh, he, okay. he hated killing children and doing oh. terrible things oh and one day I'm, i bumped okay. into him with his other friend and <laughs> and they both and they it. both and i said why don't you just come live in my loft can we do that i said yeah well you you can run away from the Mossad. oh i don't know if you can run away from those guys but they did wow so, so they had a lot of fun that must have sucked having to really do that all that stuff yeah but then they stopped yeah more Happenings, more oh. galleries, more, and these are all outside. There's Donna again. Yeah. Good old Donna. Your first wife. My training wife. Yep. Okay. Wait! Don't get off of me! Get off of me! That's that's. Now this girl <laughs> right now Sorry. is like a six-figure <laughs> lawyer Sorry. in New York. This girl is like. 35 oh, oh. and a lawyer in New York. Oh, okay. Hey, it's my daughter. Yep, that's his daughter. I like her very much. I love her. And, and that's Helene. That's way down. His, his, yeah, they're, they're a couple, no. husband and wife, yeah. married yeah. 40 years. That's their first, their daughter. Oh, I'll kill you. 
Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. So here's here's no. the terminal shell. See yeah, how yeah, big yeah, this okay. place was? Okay. Every bomb, bullet, and yeah, tank yeah. that went to World War II went through that building. Okay. That's a big mustache. Yeah, that's a big mustache. Yeah. Just over here doing stuff. I'm I'm working. I'm taking a break from the Ghostbusters. Google Donna Ann McAdams. Okay, what's that terminal show? You could Google that too. The terminal show is um, uh, we did an art show for a hundred thousand artists. Whoa! There was seven million square feet. Every bomb, bullet, tank that went to World War II, the one World War II, went through this. Why we won World War II was that we could bring more equipment into that theater. They okay. had the Liberty ships. Everything was like a factory. Oh, wow. And all the okay, stuff came cool. in. See these high things? The yeah. trains would come in. These big cranes would pick the stuff up, put it on the Liberty ship, yeah. and it sent it off oh, to World War II. So they sent more stuff than the Germans could make. That's why oh. we won. Okay. And um, Great. everybody that came back from World War II went through this building too. When the Liberty ships came back. What am I looking at here? A road? Th these are where train tracks. Train tracks were there, and you what right. happened? The trains, what did you all do? The to it? Light it up. I lit it up. Oh, okay. I lit it up. Cool. Me and Michael. Uh -uh. What was Mike's last name? I forget. But he Who, and I. Put, are those real lights? Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. what we did, we got a generator from the city. Yeah. Uh, you know, temporary generator, and yeah. and we just hooked it straight up okay. to the power transformers. Yeah. And turned it on, and everything lit up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't really have to do anything. Okay. We gave people extension cords and clip lights. Okay. And um, <sighs> more of the terminal. This is all terminal show. These are meetings of the terminal show. <laughs> How are you doing that? He's just, a French artist. I just sucked in a bunch of weed. Yep, yep. Well, there was a lot of that going on. Oh, okay. So I, I, our, I don't really know how to do a French So this, this girl came from the uh, Nesca, New York okay. uh, State Art, in, and they gave us the money for okay. this art show. Oh, man. Okay. And that's Les. She was a sweetie. Okay. Mm. What the hell? That's the beach. I had a house in the hmm. Hamptons. Okay. More of the carnival. Great. Oh, man. Okay, great. More Maryland. Yeah. Great. More art shows. More Donna. There's you. No, no. No, wait. That's no. somebody else that looks kind of like Kind of like me. Yeah, okay. no, not me. It's the fake you, but somebody yes, else. Yes, right, but right. He'd get angry me. if you call him the fake you. Yes, he would. Okay. Miss Judy again. There's me. There's wait, wait, wait. me. That's not you. No, that's not that's, you. No, that's me. Wait, that's you. That's you. <laughs> okay. That's me, and I'm wearing a payas. This is back in my rabbi days. You're wearing payas. Payas. The payas of the little <laughs> cut, right. Sorry. And this and this is the the robe that they wear and the strings. Oh yeah, yeah. This is when I was okay, okay. when that's I was great. going to be a uh, rabbi. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this was upstate New York over here. Mm. Great. More nightclub stuff. Oh, Robin. Robin uh, Winters. Uh, Robin Winters? Yes. Is he some uh, artist or something? Yeah, yeah, pretty famous artist. Okay. Here's a house I bought in a place called uh, Remsenburg in Long Island. Wow. When, that was a pre-revolutionary house. What was it big? No, but it was really beautiful, huh. and it oh. had the roof had caved in. Oh, and there was water damage. Okay. So I bought this whole farm. It, there was about sixty acres. Yeah. Four barns, and this house. Okay. And I redid the house and I redid the barns. I tore the barns down and rebuilt brand new buildings. Okay. On the same footprint. Yeah. And and did pretty good. Okay. Wow, was it a lot of work? Oh yeah, it was right. Did you it, enjoy it? Oh yeah, I mean. Um, Did I, you ever not enjoy work? Um no. Oh, lucky you. I only did things I like to do. 
Yeah. If I didn't want to do it, I didn't do it. Okay. You know? You're very fortunate. Well, there's a price to be paid. Yeah. Usually you get fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or or a really, really angry. No, I who could I couldn't give a fuck. Because you because it sucked so hard. Right, I didn't care. No, I know. Anyway. I just did everything the way I wanted to do Who's it. Who's that guy? Oh, that's Lewis. Lewis started a um, CBGBs. He was a night. He did? Yeah, yeah. Lewis Tropia. I got a better picture of him. That's Lewis. He started CBGBs? Yeah, yeah. I used to live above CBGBs. Whoa. That's amazing. I wired it. I'm, you know, he, you know, he had a number of nightclubs. I met him at Montana Palace, which was owned by, oh, what was that guy's name? Lewis. Wait, Tropia. Lewis okay. Tropia. There's a little piece of fuzz on his face. <laughs> Probably more on Did he picture. shave his head or was he... Yeah, he shaved his head. Oh, I mean, okay. he was kind of bald, but he shaved He shaved everything. Oh, that was what his, do you mean he shaved everything? Not his eyebrows, but, you he know... He shaved his he, body? He, no, it's, he had no beard, you know, he just had eyebrows. That was oh, his oh. look. Okay. Now, this is Rinpoche. This is a real high, holy Indian guy. Whoa. Hindu. And he used to... Come Haley, right? What was his name? Ripache. Oh, okay. And this guy was the Indian cultural okay. dude at the UN. Uh, so uh, every time he came in, because uh, that girl who I said that's yeah. Haley, who's seventy years. Yeah, old. yeah. Okay. This guy uh, was his like her godfather. He loved her dearly. So here's oh. see all this stuff. This is abandoned building yeah, nightclubs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't anything. That I oh. paid rent for, oh, I yeah. lit them up, yeah, and uh, we they would run until someone oh, yeah. complained. And then we go yeah. and do it someplace else. Okay. Here is uh, what's his name, Alan. No. Okay. He's a, he's a pretty famous uh, metal sculptor. Oh great! I, I don't forget know. his name. Yeah. But this is Lower East Side. Okay. Yeah. There's Michael. Oh yeah. He and I did a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Michael. Michael Keaton. That's his name. Him? Yeah. No, so he has here. the same name as the other... As the actor. Yeah. He looks familiar. Yeah. I don't know. Is he famous or anything? Uh, I don't know. We both had master electricians. Who's this license. guy? Into punk rock or something? Oh, that's this guy. No, he was he was a trans... Everything. <laughs> He was a perform. You know, I did this stuff called performance art. That means he's probably into punk rock. He was into everything. Okay. Well, what if it was alternative? He did it. Okay. All right. Yeah. There we go. All right. And so this is Whoa. this is stuff we did on okay. the street. We would okay. just take the Con Ed uh, yeah things and and Jeez. you know take a street and block. Who's it off. that? That's Michael. That's oh, Keaton okay. again. A little uh, more uh, drunk than usual. Uh, no, 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 no. And this guy yeah. used to breathe fire. You know. What is that? Some weird art. Yep. Weird art. Okay. Who is that? The guy breathing fire. Breathing the naked fi man yep, yep, breathing yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Hey, look at my pubes. You know, we would, we would, we would do whatever would would get a rise out of people. We would do it. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, she was great. She would blow these balloons up, right? Put it on this suit. And then she'd do somersaults onto the balloons until they broke. Okay. I mean, she was she was amazing. You know, she was a gymnast. And this is another thing she did. She, had, she made these bungee cords. And she would jump through the air onto the bungee oh, cord. Oh, 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 and no, if no. she missed the bungee yeah, cord, yeah. it would like break her neck or her arm. Oh, that's terrible. No, she was, she was you know, fearless. Okay. And this was all from, uh -oh. we, we, this was our carnival show. Okay. Stuff. Hey there, yeah, how you doing? Exactly, he was our Pee Wee Herman. Oh. <laughs> Here he is. He, we had this TV show and, and he would go around. <sighs> yeah, I can scare you. He, he was, yeah, 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 and yeah, that's how on, we talked, yeah, you got yeah. it. Hey, hey, look at this girl. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have sex. That's how we talk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here's Joey Ripples and his friend Tom Tom. Oh, gosh. 
Uh, it's amazing I can remember some okay. names, but not others. Here's a girl on the on the uh, bungee cords. Our car mm. our carnival shop. Uh oh. Hmm. You can see her. You know, she here she hmm. is. So we had her on a lift. We would take her up in the air, and there were other bungees, and she would, you know, bounce all over the place. Okay. Here's our our master of ceremonies with his big top hat. And again, this was an abandoned building. Here. Okay. And the uh, Illuminati. Who's that guy? Uh, uh, somebody. Somebody. I can't remember. But he. Oh, yeah, but no. What this was. Editor. No. What this what? was interesting. Yes. He used to work in TV. He stayed in the, this is a cardboard box yeah, yeah, yeah. in an abandoned building, oh. and he stayed there for a month and had a TV camera, a live TV camera, to a channel in Manhattan Cable. Yeah. And, you know, taking a crap, eating his dinner, but everything was artificial. Nothing was real. Okay. And that was his little statement of, um, right. of the, on the universe. Hey, Donnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Ding, ding. I'm sorry, he looks like... This was a club we had called Kamikaze. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How you doing? And that was a legal club, doing? but we would do our art in it. That was the, the idea of the... everything. Don't step in my pool. Yeah. Or I guess we'll win. Yeah, get out the way. New York City today. Yep. Get away from my pool bag. It's for somebody else. Oh no! Don't throw it away. So here's what the um, the terminal oh, looked like: so seven so million so square feet, okay. one hundred thousand artists. Okay. Hmm. Seven million square feet. Yep. Okay. Okay. And this is what it looks like when I lit it up at night. Oh, great. Was smoke or something? Yeah, you know, it was cold. Yeah, you know, we oh, had oh, fires. Okay, okay. Oh. You know, it was a lot. They of stuff. allowed you to do that? It was a concrete building. They let us oh, do oh, okay. it. was out in the middle of nowhere. They just let us do whatever the fuck oh. we wanted to it. I mean, there was no fire marshals, no oh. inspections, no oh. nothing. He, he looks like Federico Fellini. Kind of. This homeboy? The, that guy. This guy? Or somebody. No, he's like a younger man. A younger man. Well, okay. we had a lot of European artists in the show. We had 100,000 artists. Hmm. That's you and some... Sweetie. Okay. I, I can't remember her name. She looked kind of like <coughs> Ju Julian... Not Julie Andrews, the, um, the one who sings Sound of Music and... This guy, his okay. name is Julian. Uh, what's his last name? He's very famous. He, he at this age, he was making thousands doing paintings, right? He was. Yes, he had shows in the Whitney, and then he decided How he wanted did he to do that. Well, because he was a pretty good pa uh, painter, oh, and yeah, yeah. and people marketed him well. Okay. And this in the eighties was huh. the point of oh. yeah. total creativity oh. moving into marketing. Okay. This is, you know, how you want to be rich and famous. That's well, everybody know. here want was. That's I, what family is more important. But I did. I, I. But I definitely want that. But but family is more important. Just because I've worked so there's, hard there's on my music she and was, art, I want. I should have married this girl. This should have been my third and not wife. Not to worry about money either. Really? Yeah, she loved me like nobody. It was pretty amazing. She and looked I, attractive. Oh, she was way attractive. So much fun. Her daddy was uh, pretty rich. He huh. thought I. He was like, "You're the only guy who can make my, you know, marry my my daughter." <laughs> but I had been married twice, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." Oh. Okay. I was still kind of broke off, broken up. My uh oh, yeah, my, yeah. Uh, the you're, other way. You're, you're Here I am, just okay. a little bit drunk. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's okay. Kiki. Sweet mm. Kiki. The one that was we saw before. Okay. Yes. Here's Kathy. Who's, oh, sorry. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? Ra you... Rob Lombi. <laughs> Lombi. Yep, Rob Lombi. Rob Lombi. Yep, Lombi. L O M B E. Lombi. Lombi. Before, okay. before Rob Zombie. Oh, yeah. Rob Lombi. 
And that's a, uh, you know, that's a piece that uh, huh. um, Judy painted. She did it okay. in the afternoon. Oh, so that's somebody else. Yeah, Rivka, see? Okay. R-I-F-K-A. Oh, wow. That's, that's how you spell her name. Rivka. Okay. Judy. And don't really have the rights to use it, but since it's a doc, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a historical... A news. <gasps> Oh, sorry, I thought you had it. No, no. Okay. It didn't break your foot, did it? No, no, no. As long as anyway, it doesn't hurt the book. Kids, this is one yeah. of a hundred of these books. I documented everything from oh, okay. 1980, 79 on to yeah. today. Okay. And huh. John's going to turn that into something amazing. Yeah. So I'm going to say goodnight. Good night. Good night. And you can uh, watch more of my videos. Yep, okay, yep. bye. And I'd like to add <clears throat> that my grandmother, um, who her name is Marjorie Martinez, and she's Sicilian. Actually, it was Martinez. And when she came over from Sicily, they, they uh, thought it was Martinez because they made a funny S. And she was... You know, she just went with that, and she was actually Sicilian. And uh, uh, when her husband came over from uh, Ellis Island, and she was an art teacher, and she went to Pratt in the 1930s, and she was in New York at that same time too. And she she was an art teacher and did a lot of original art, and I'll show some of, some of her art right here. And uh, so I thought I'd add that in. She's still alive, and she's 99 years old and lives in Staten Island, New York. At Pratt, the first day I went to my anatomy yeah. class, the food. I was sitting near the front, yeah. and the, and the okay. teacher handed me a bunch of keys and said, Will you bring that down? And little did I know that when I went up there, you know what I had to bring down? What? A skeleton. I was in an, in an, in an anatomy class. And good thing she sent me with another person. Because yeah. had I been alone, I'd have run. Yeah. But the two of us, she gave me the skeleton to carry. I can still feel the head on my arm when I was old. And we went back to class with the skeleton. But it was good. It's such a good basic training. Yeah. That it made art simple for me to present to the children. Yeah. Because I knew it. Huh. I knew it. Okay. I could analyze anything okay. that I drew. That was that. That was that. Okay. Well, she made us food, and it's been. You what? want you want to eat food? Look.